Oh hi yo guys! Today I am finally gonna answer the question that most of you guys have been asking me That is why I left TSL or why I left the Smart Local Before we get started I just wanna get it out of the way that yes I understand that this is exactly like why I left BuzzFeed and all the other videos out there Yes, I copy them, okay? This is the best way to express my thoughts and feelings Now that that's out of the way Some of you may not know who I am my name is Yumihawa KG. Welcome to my YouTube channel! Woo! Please hit the subscribe button after you watch this video. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so a little bit of a background. I started working at a smart local two years ago. I worked there for close to a year. What I was doing there, uh, I was I was doing a lot of things there. I was managing their YouTube account. I was creating videos, editing videos, acting in front of them, hosting, script writing. I, I did a lot of things for them. At that time, the video team was really small. It was hated by Mr. Bell and Fauzi, Felicia. And when I joined the team, I was there. I was tasked to come up with a new segment. I came up with three video show, a web series, and also one that you all should know, Singaporeans Try. So we created the Singaporeans Try and I wouldn't be able to do it without the help of Udea. And she was the one, she was my right hand man. She helped me in a lot of pre-production stages and right now it is blown up to be something really huge. So that's basically what I did at the Smart Local. Fast forward one year later, there are actually three main reasons why I left the Smart local. Reason number one is when my contract was about to end, I really wanted to travel the world. That has been uh, something that I've wanted to do after I started. That's what I did for a good three months. I went to went to Japan, I went to Vietnam, I went to Thailand. I, I went to so many countries. Uh, it was such a blessing and everything. Brian, who is the boss, saying that, hey, if you want to come back, just uh, drop me a text or email and then we can discuss about me coming back to the Smart Local. So at that point of time, I was actually uh, intending to go back to the Smart Local. So this would be point number two on why I left the Smart Local. The second point is a little bit hard to uh, talk about. So when I was done traveling, uh, I just dropped uh, Brian a text saying that, hey, you know what, maybe we can talk about uh, the new contract, maybe we can talk about me coming back to the Smart Local. He was like very open about it, which was really good and I thank you for that. We were having a very long discussion and everything and one of the main reasons uh, we couldn't agree on a contract was because I felt that he didn't appreciate or he didn't value my worth as much in the Smart Local. Uh, we were arguing about that. It got to a point where I told him, Hey, uh, you know what, Brian? Just send me the best contract that you can give me and we can move on from there. He said, yeah, sure, I'll send it to you by next week. Uh, one week later, I didn't hear anything for them. Two, three months later, still no word. By then, it's kind of like you go for a job interview and if they don't send you a reply, you know that you didn't get a job, you know? But it was until one day where uh, the opportunity to talk to him again came up so I just had to ask him the question I, I just went ahead and asked him hey Brian why didn't you send me the new contract his reply to me whoo his reply to me was I forgot <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so you know it's, it's, it's kind of like the reply where the teacher give you homework and then the student say I forgot to do the teacher also like what am I gonna do with this student he forgot Send him to detention, is it? <laughs> We're all adults here. Uh, I forgot it's a very like convenient excuse I found. That actually really validates uh, my point where, where I, I felt that he didn't value me as much in the company. I mean, how can you forget someone if you value that person? You, you get what I mean? There were a lot of things that I disagree with him while I was working in the Smart Local. Uh, there, was, there was a few things that we didn't see eye to eye. Ethics wise, uh, how we deal with clients, how we deal with uh, people that are working with us. A lot of things, how we value their workers in TSL, I didn't agree with personally. To be honest, working in the Smart Local was uh, one of my dream jobs. Working full time on YouTube was really my passion and something that I really love. But I guess the main point was I really didn't felt valued and I didn't think that he think that I was important or I placed an important role. Yeah, it clearly showed. So that is reason number two on why I left the Smart Local. I just felt that Brian didn't really value what I bring to the table. And it showed by how he treated me and how he treated a lot of the other people in the company. Um, but... But uh, he is the boss, so there's nothing much that we can do because he makes the call for everything and I understand that. Visit number three, so after not hearing from him, 
for quite some time, I decided to focus everything I have, my energy, my time, my money, on my YouTube channel. That is reason number three. I had always had this YouTube channel even before I joined the Smart Local. I've always loved doing YouTube and creating content and everything. In the Smart Local, I find it really hard to work there and do my YouTube channel at the same time. Me working on my channel was one of the reasons why I TSL as well. I'm not a very strong reason. <sighs> okay, now we got that out of the way. Whew. Okay, uh, it's, it's, it's so hard to, it's really hard to make this video. <sighs> that was really uh, heavy for me to, to express the thoughts and feelings. Uh, so let's take a break. Let's watch something funny. I don't know how the people that are working at the Smart Local would react to this video, how our relationships would be after this. I really hope that this doesn't change the fact that uh, I really treasure our friendship. You never know what's gonna happen. I have no hard feelings for anyone at the Smart Local, whether they want to stay, whether they left, anything is their personal choice and reasons. I don't hold grudges to anyone working there even even to the boss Brian yo even though you forgot about me I honestly have no hard feelings I'm I'm at peace with myself that that's why I really felt that I can make this video right now but I didn't want it to be like an emotional I cry video I just wanted to give you uh, my thoughts my opinions and facts on why I left so uh, hopefully you guys got it oh so I hope when you guys see me in the streets, you wouldn't just say, Oh, you are that TSL guy. Please, please. No more, okay? It's been a year since I left. You can call me by my name, KG. You can call me Arcade Ninja, the guy that makes YouTube video. I'm fine with anything. I really hope that this answers your questions and that we all can move on. Carry on doing what we love, which is creating content and hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any other questions regarding why I left or any... I will try to answer all your questions. You can leave a comment down below. So yeah, if you have any other questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe! I do cool stuff. I don't really do this often. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And I'll see you guys next time for our usual videos that's coming. Bye-bye.